Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. Today we're going to remove the front fenders off of this 2001 BMW 330i. The removal of the fender is pretty much universal throughout the whole E46 chassis. Uh, so pretty much, let's get started. What we're gonna do is first we're gonna jack up the car. You only have to jack up the front end. The main reason we're jacking up the car, or at least the front end, is that way we can go ahead and get the fender liner off, which makes it a lot easier to take the fender off once you have the liner off. So once you jack up the car, go ahead and take off the wheels, and once the wheels are off, then we're gonna go ahead and start removing the fender liner. As you can see, my fender liner is broken right here, which is why when I removed the bumper, I didn't have to take all that off. But basically, there's screws right here, there's a screw right there, a screw right there, a screw right there. You have to push this little tab in. As you see, there's a hole. Just push that in and then pull the outside part out. Same with that one, same with that one. And then you have to go underneath the car and uh, there's a screw all the way in the back over here. Screw right there and there's another screw right there. So you have to remove both of those screws and uh, go ahead and remove the side skirt as well. To remove that, there's uh, another screw. There's two right here, mine are missing. There's one that goes right there, right next to the jack stand and another one right there. When you remove those, then what you can do is you can just pull it straight and it'll just pop right out. As you can see, mine's, my tab is actually broken, but it pops right out of that tab. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the fender liner. All right, so basically what you do, you take like a pick or anything like that, just push this center section in. It's gonna fall out usually like this. Here's it came out right here. Uh, usually they fall and they just get caught in the fender and when you take the fender off, they'll all fall out. So just make sure to just watch for those. And then once you have that, Go ahead and do the other one, and then you just pop, pull it out with the pick, or with the flat head, just like that. And that's how they look. Now the fender liner's out. Here's one bolt I forgot to show you guys. There's a bolt right here that goes on the underside of the actual frame rail next to the control arm bushing. So make sure you get that one out as well. That one's kind of hidden so you might not see it. Once you get that off, now if you come in here, you can see the, the hidden bolts pretty much. There's a bolt right here that holds the fender in. There's one all the way across. And then after that, there's another one. There's a bolt right there. Go ahead and take that one out as well. And then the simple ones, which you can easily see from the engine bay, are all of these. And another hidden one underneath this little section right here. See, right there. And then the last one, which on here is missing, but it goes right here, right there. Now you're gonna need a Torx 30 to take off all of the bolts that are up on top of here. And these are very easily stripped, so make sure the socket is sitting in properly before you start applying pressure. All right, so once you have all the bolts out, there's one last thing, is the side marker light. There's uh, the, the, pretty much the connector that goes to it. You have to unhook that. It's easier when you just pull it off to go ahead and get it off then. Just straight, pops out like that. Some facelift, and I'm not sure about the pre-facelift, but those might also. There's a little section that goes right here, and basically what it does, it slides into the bracket that holds the bumper. And when it slides, since it slid in, what you have to do is once you have the bolts out, you have to pull it away from it. And make sure you don't scratch the door, but when you're pulling it out, just be careful and just 
tug on it a little bit and it'll slide right out of the connector. And that's how you take out a fender. If you guys have any questions or if you feel like I left something out or I did something wrong, feel free to comment and let me know and I'll try to respond to any questions. And feel free to subscribe and like the video if you like it. And thanks for watching guys.